What's up everyone, this is Matt Morozik and this will be a kind of update video review on some paint racks I just picked up to review. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm constantly working on my work area to make it more efficient and easier to use to gain more space. Uh, the most recent thing I did is I removed a set of shelves or drawers that were sitting right here and I put them underneath the counter right there so that opened up a nice chunk of desktop space. Um, so when I was at ReaperCon last week, um, I was there and the cool thing about ReaperCon is they have a bunch of tables set up for painters to paint. And these guys bring in all their paint supplies and stuff and they set up on these tables and they, they paint. So I ran into a guy named uh, Tim Martin and he was there setting up all these huge awesome paint racks and stuff. And I went up to him and was like, hey, those are really cool. Where'd you get them? He's actually, he's, and he's like, I actually make those. And my company is called New Ways of Design, or New Way Designs. So I started talking to him about it and stuff, and um, I decided to uh, see if I could review some, and I just picked them up today. Um, they're fresh cut off the laser, literally a few hours ago. Um, the company's called New Way Designs. It's run by Tim Martin and Carl Pajak. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. It's Carl, <laughs> P-A-J-A-K. And I met Carl just about an hour and a half ago, picked them up, brought them home, cleaned off my desktop here because this was a mess earlier from working on the the bust but so this is what it looks like right now uh, for right now what I have is I have up here up top I have a hobby zone oil paint holder for oil paints I've got one down here for watercolor uh, this is a hobby zone paint holder this is a hobby zone paint holder this one is Vallejo and I have a uh, left return corner hobby zone holder like tray unit and I have a right one now, I don't know if I'll be able to replace all of these right now with the racks that I have, but I'll be able to get the paint stored and organized and everything. So I don't have instructions because they were just given to me. And I'm not sure how these are packaged when you buy them. Right now they're made to order because um, they don't have stock, but they're working on it. So um, I'm gonna put this down on the desktop here and we're gonna put some together and uh, we'll kind of go over how they work because they're pretty cool. I was really impressed. Um, the one thing that I really liked about it and in talking with Tim is that, oops, sorry, um, he'll custom make stuff for you. So if they don't have anything, if they, ha if they don't have something you want, um, they can custom design a piece for you or a custom layout. Um, so in the description, I'll put a link to the New Way Designs Facebook page because they have some pictures of, um, uh, I guess, clients or painters setups. And then you can kind of see what they look like in other areas. So I'm going to do a, I'm going to assemble a few here on the desk. Then I'll pause the video. I'll reorganize my desk, which will take a while. And I'll show it to you again. But just for a reference right now, um, right now, because when I'm done, they will be higher than what, what I have right now. So right now the height on my paint rack with the paint in the rack is, ah, uh, the highest is about, oh, about nine inches. So up to here is about nine inches from the desktop, desktop up. So I have a box over here <laughs> and it's full of wooden parts. So one second, take a sip. So I bought, <clears throat> excuse me, I bought, or I got six, what they call modules. Um, and a module consists of a bottom part, which is like a, I guess a shelf. Then the middle part, which is a pullout tray for paints and then the top part for paints. Now you don't have to buy them all at the same time. You can buy just the, each individual piece if you want. So it's kind of cool. So you, you know, you, you get what you need and you, uh, it's depending on your scenario. So like this right here is one shelf unit. And the way this works is these all interlock and then when they're done, they actually tab into each other. So um, give me a second because I have to figure this out. <laughs> uh, this is the back right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just like this. Now this has an L and an R on them, so I'm assuming 
just goes in like that. And then this goes in like this. Now I'll pull, <clears throat> I will have to glue these together. Pretty sure. So like I said, there, I don't have any instructions, so this will take some fumbling on my part to get these together. Um, like this. So just bear with me as I fumble through this. And as you can tell, these are all laser cut. to turn around and come this way. So yeah, these will have to be glued together. No big deal. And then this will come on top like this. camera. There's that, there's that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So that's like a shelf unit right there. And you can see these cut out grooves right here, just like this has on the bottom. And the next unit will fit on top. So what I'm going to do is since I have this here, um, I don't think these clamps will get big enough to clamp this note. I've got a couple of clamps here. I'm just going to lightly clamp this and throw some glue on it. Just like that. I'm just going to use some uh, medium CA to um, use just normal like wood, wood glue. But what I'm going to do before I, before I glue this, I'm going to put another one together and make sure I have the orientation correct because they'll, they'll tab in next to each other too. So let's put that one right there just for a second. So I'm not going to put these all together on camera because as you can see um, with me not doing this before, it's going to take a while. So I'll do a few and then... Um, I'll pause and come. All right. Well, after two nights of assembly, <laughs> rearranging, and rearranging again, I got all the uh, new way design, new ways designs, uh, paint racks and modules together, and I finally got it all laid out to the way I like it. Um, you'll see that paint rack there to the right. I actually bought that before. Um, I bought that at ReaperCon before I met Tim. And that thing was like 30 bucks and it holds a lot of paint. It holds 75 bottles of the ammo or like the Vallejo type bottles, but it's really flimsy. It's, um, it'd be super easy to break. So even though it was $30, um, cheaper than the pricing on Tim's units, it's very flimsy. And basically if you dropped it, it would break. So I was up to about 1230 last night, putting these things together and getting organized. So it took a while to assemble them. Now I have uh, six modules and each module consists of the paint rack on top, the pullout tray in the middle and the shelf on the bottom. And I'll go in closer and show you how those, all those work and how I got everything organized. Um, they do go a lot higher than my previous units, but I have, it, this really has helped me organize my workspace better. Um, I was able to pull a bunch of stuff off of the pegboards up there and bring it down. I was able to bring a bunch of stuff out of my drawers down there and over here, free up space in there and brought it up onto my workbench. Um, it allowed me to bring my, um, my paintbrush tool organizer back in the middle. 
Um, yeah, so this is really a really nice setup. So I'm going to come a little closer and kind of show you how these work because they're pretty cool. So I'm going to start over here. These are all the same. These all work the same, but they all hold a different uh, size bottle. So on these two, um, the one on the left holds the Vallejo slash MIG size bottle, the dropper bottles, okay? Uh, the top portion, the top unit, which is this part right here, from here up, that's one unit. This holds uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 dropper bottles. Now I have two more up here that are just kind of hanging out. They're not actually in they're not actually in a hole. They're just up there because I had those two extras. Um, so I, there's room for them there. And there's also space on the back here for some bottles. So I've got some big cleaner. And the shelf depth of this unit is about the depth of this bottle. So it's actually really perfect. Um, I don't have anything over here because I have my power cord. Okay, so that's one unit. The next unit, which is um, an individual piece, is the pull-out tray. And this actually works really well. So right now, I may go back and put some soap on these rails so it's a little smoother, but basically you pull it out like this, and then it tilts down, just like that. So that part holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, so there's 11, 22, 33. 33 bottles in that pull-out part. So right there you hold about 55 bottles or so, roughly in there. Pretty cool. Um, and I'm also using the spaces in between the units for sandpaper. So I've got like 320 here, I've got 600 here, and I've got other grits down the way. I went to a container store and bought myself some of these little cheap containers. I have all my sanding sticks in here now, which is super handy because these were at, were in our drawer earlier. So anything sanding is in here. Fits in there perfectly. I actually have a couple spare balls of uh, Reaper pan I got at ReaperCon. Um, and then actually um, the space below here is the perfect height to hold my little, I pushed in there too far, little turntables. So there's little eight inch turntables. Fit another perfectly, and I have a bunch of these, <laughs> probably like six or seven. But I only got four out right, or three out right now. Moving on to the next unit, or module we call it. This holds the um, Garage Kits US color size bottle, so this size bottle, as well as um, uh, Badger uh, Minotaur, which I have some over here on the other on, on the other side. Up here, I have a bunch of acrylic thinners. Um, safety saw for the Aves Epoxy. Got some of my little mini camp clamps up here. So this unit for this size bottle holds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 15 bottles up here. And then again, this tray comes out, slides it down, just like that. This holds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7, 14, 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 and 15, uh, 32 bottles of that. So my only like a crit so far is, um, now I, I noticed that all, all these figure guys, they put a little drop of paint on the top of the bottle to tell them what color it is. So I can't see the color of the paint. But in my previous racks, the only color I could see is the front row. I could only see what was in the front row. And I always had to lift up the bottle behind it to see what color that was. So it's not like a, you know, a huge turnoff about that. I do like seeing this. I know these are all my flesh tones. I'm going to label this as like, you know, flesh tones and then like have transparencies and stuff, you know, have them organized. So that's not a huge turnoff for me, but it's just, you know, it's whatever. I could always go through and individually label them up here if I wanted to, but that take a lot of time. Down here, I have all my putties and stuff like that, which were in a drawer before. I have a tack cloth up here for when I am doing figure painting. I have all my X-Acto blades right here, just on the side. Very handy. Moving to the center. 
is my, now this is one of the hobby zone units I kept is this tool organizer. It's awesome. This hobby zone tool organizer is amazing. I suggest it highly. This is the large one. They have a smaller one, but even this one, um, doesn't hold everything I use. So, um, I may get a second one. Oh, and I also kept this, uh, hobby zone corner unit over here. These little shelv shelving units are very handy. Um, they actually hold a lot of stuff. So there's like some little balls and stuff that I don't use a lot are over there. Okay, over to the next module. I'm not going to show you everything, but um, you get the, get the idea. And here's all my Tamiya masking tape, which was a pain. So yeah, I have a lot of tape. I stock up every year at Squadron Eagle Quest. I got my little toothpick and um, Q-tip kit, Q-tip and toothpick kit in there. I use that for decaling and micro applications of glue and stuff. Again, uh, garage kits that US paints, same in here. Um, thinners, cleaners over here. Oops, let me pan up. Uh, some thinner, some cleaners, reducers, a bunch of styno res I like to have on hand over here. Again, using these down, these little spaces in between for sandpaper. We've got a turntable down here. Um, and then this also allowed me to free up a ton of space over here. I had a bunch of stuff over here that I just could never get to because it was just stacked on top of each other. So I got my box of rubber, you know, latex gloves in there. Um, I got my alcohol and stuff over here. Alcohol, garage kits uh, cleaner, and some of this other stuff. And then I decided, initially I had all six units on this right here i had initially had all six units right there but it really took up a lot of space in the center here because it kicked out and i lost all this middle space so I, I thought to myself well let's do this let's take two of the units that i don't use all the time and move them over and put the tools there and that opened up a bunch of space and that's these two guys right here and these hold the other size bottles so your Vallejo metal colors, your um, MIG panel lines, washes, filters, pigment bottle, their new pigment bottles. Um, oh, I forgot to show you what I have in the tub over here also. So I've got um, Tamiya tape here, all my watercolors in here. I'm going to get rid of these Hobby Zone watercolor holders. It's a good idea. The concept is, is, is smart. But they always fell over. It was a major pain in the ass. So, um, and when I'm using these, they're usually all out on my countertop anyway. So, because I'm using and mixing colors on the fly. So those are down there, and I have a couple extra bottles of MIG paint down there. I may have to get another one of these smaller units that hold the small bottles. I didn't realize I had as much as I do. Um, so back to these. These hold the metal color size bottle. Again, these trays come down and flip down. These are nice because they're all labeled already for MIG. So you know what they are. Can't see with my light. Pretty bright. Um, so yeah, so these are all like, uh, this is, oh, these are all um, washes and streaking effects and stuff like that. Basically anything weathering is like here down. Pigments, these are my mud effects like I used on the Captain America in here. Um, and the little tubs down here are all my, oops, sorry, all the old style MIG pigments, which fit in there perfectly too high. And then my Tamiya weathering sets, which I really have never used. I bought those and then ended up buying a bunch of MIG stuff. And then over here is all my um, oil paints and a AK Interactive True Metal uh, Metallic Waxes. So yeah, super, super awesome. Um, pricing on these guys. So I'm not going to say it's cheap, but I'm not going to say it's expensive. So depends on how you want to do it. Okay. So the way the pricing works on these is basically each unit is $20. So this paint rack, this part is $20. The outside part of this paint tray is $20. This part is $20. And then the bottom tray is twenty dollars. You got twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. So that one unit, that one module is eighty dollars. Seems a little expensive, um, 
at first I thought, man, that's, that seems really pricey for that. And now that I have it all out here and it's organized, um, I, I, I think the price is fair. Um, if you compare these to like the Hobby Zone units, which I have a few, I showed you earlier, these are made out of plywood, it's not MDF. Um, once they're together and glued, they're extremely sturdy. Um, I will say, getting them all locked together was really tricky. What I had to do was basically lock all the bottom shells first when I had this all six all out. When I had all six on my countertop, I had to, because I tried to put like the modules together and then squeeze them together and those was too, it was too hard to get all these little tabs lined up and squeezed in. So what I did is I, I locked all the bottom shelving units first. So I had a row of six shelves and then I locked, um, the, yeah, so I did. And then I locked the center parts, all six, put those on top. And then I locked all the trays and put those on top. Now that this is, I think it's also, this woods also had a chance to kind of acclimate to my um, house. Um, I noticed that they're easier to pull apart and put back together now. And also, um, the way these tabs are designed, they're a little thicker on the end. So they do kind of lock together. It's important that your work surface is level because even the thickness of the cutting mat, I noticed was preventing them from locking together. So I had to push these guys all the way to the back. So I had an even work surface, the same height for everything to fit. So. Overall, I think it's an excellent product. It's made in the U.S. Like I said, it's made here locally uh, to me near Fort Worth. Right now, they're taking orders and it's uh, um, they cut to order. Right now, they don't like, have stock, so um, you have to contact Tim and or Carl at New Ways Designs to find out what shipping would be. Um, and they will do custom orders. So, like if you have a custom need. Tell them what you have. They can lay it out for you. Tell you what it would cost to have it done. And you can go from there. My wife, for example, is starting to make custom um, Yeti cups. And she's using like a lot of glitter and a lot of uh, clear epoxies and things like that. And right now, these won't work for her because the holes are too small. So, basically, we're going to lay something out. And we're going to send them an idea of what we need. And see what that would cost. And... We may do some trading. I may do some photography for them or something. I don't know. We may work out a trade or we just may like buy one or two units and see if they work for her. But um, overall, I'm really happy with these. I think um, it has helped me get a little more organized. Actually, a lot more organized. I have more of my tools in front of me and more easily and readily available for when I'm working. I'm not have to dig in through drawers and stuff. And I like the fact that I can store a lot of stuff in a very small footprint. So, and I'm a kind of guy, yeah, you could probably do this cheaper if you went out, bought the wood and did all the cutting. I'm a kit guy. I like to have something in a box that I can put together and it works for me. <laughs> I don't want to spend the hours of designing this, laying it out, cutting it, putting it together. That's where your, that's where your money is going is the design, the layout and the time that they put into uh, designing these pieces. But, um, I'm really happy with this. I think it's um, it's going to be awesome. So, uh, thanks Tim and Carl for hooking me up. Or not hooking me up, but because <laughs> I paid for them, but um, for getting to the getting me these getting me these pretty quickly because I ordered them on I think Friday, and Carl cut them yesterday and I picked them up yesterday. But yeah, pretty cool. So new ways to design. Uh, Tim Martin. And Carl, I'm not going to try to say your last name again, Carl, because I'll butcher it, and Carl. <laughs> but I'll put links to their Facebook page and on uh, Tim's Facebook page, because he's the one I was kind of really doing, the, I was doing the talking to. Tim is kind of like the designer guy, and Carl is the one with the laser and does all the cutting and stuff. So, pretty cool product. Uh, check it out. Buy, you know, buy yourself one. See if you like it. And if you like, you can always expand it. It's great, because it's, it's expandable. You know, I can... You know, depending on how much space you have, you can build onto it and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty cool. So uh, thanks for watching. This is another long video. I appreciate you hanging in there with me. And we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.